All right. This is, uh, I don't know if it's still a boarding house. I'm not going to go knock on the door and mess with anybody. But right here, see those two windows? I'll walk around. You can possibly see the door. The screen's still there. That room right there with those two windows. I used to live in there. Let me tell you something about that room. There's no fucking heat or air conditioning in there. Because <laughs> it used to be part of the porch. As you can see from where the brick stops and that's where it starts. It used to be part of the porch and they turned it into a room. And by the fact that there's a sheet up there, I'm going to say it's still a boarding house. And this house is experiencing something. Apparently a truck hit this. Huh? No. Nah, I used to live in that one. Oh, I thought you were facing this one up. Uh-uh. <laughs> Somebody is. Yeah, I thought you had some work for me. <laughs> you ain't got no work for me, do you? Nah. Okay. Nope. And let's see. Fixing this up. Now look, what do you see up there? You see windows, you see one, two fans. So, I'm going to say chances of that being a boarding house are pretty high. Because you see the fans, and you see an air conditioning unit there. You see one up there. There used to be a family that lived in there. Now, back in the day, the guy that owned this house, he told me what he paid for. And this was a long time ago. He paid like... 18 grand for this house and if it was restored because it's you know it's been split up there's all kind of crazy stuff going on but i would say the square footage of that house is about 4800 square feet so if it was like really fixed up it's probably be like a half a million dollar house even in this neighborhood because it's so big and some of the unique features but uh yeah i used to live in that bitch Just uh, kind of go around. And it looks better than it used to. Let me say it again. And I'll, I'm going to get back in the vehicle and just drive around and show you. All right, so I'm going to just, like I said, this is an improvement. This is an improvement. I'm going to show you. That house looks nice. Someone got shot over there. Now, what's really interesting as a kid, I didn't grow up in any shit like this. I grew up poor, but my people didn't look nothing like this. Nothing. Uh, houses were well maintained. People cut their grass. They were poor or, you know, average income, but they had pride in the neighborhood. Let's see. As you notice, there's a lot of boarded up houses. And everyone's looking at me weird, and I've just figured out why. Because I'm driving this X5, and I'm looking at houses, so they think I'm an investor. So, because everybody's staring at me that I walk, with looking like, because I don't fucking belong here. <laughs> I'll tell you a quick story. Uh, when I moved over here, I was still working in the hospital for a few months, and. Well, actually not the hospital, still in the medical field. I was working for LabCorp. And because I had to shave, you know, I shaved and everything, people thought I was a cop. Used to get that all the time. It's like, oh, you the popo. And then and people walk up to me. Wow. A lot of these houses are, um, oh, they fixed that one up. That's actually, you know, they're in the process of fixing that up. You see it? Now, you know, a lot of people are uh, talking about the economy and 
money is out here again. I am seeing like my neighborhood houses are staying on the market 30 days, if that long. People are dumping shit. Remember I said in the video about, you know, people not uh, dropping trash in their neighborhood? That's not exactly the case over here. Oh, that apartment. Used to be some, oh, you can't see. Damn. Like I said, I have not been over here in this capacity in a long time, but a lot of stuff's changed. Let's see. Used to be a lot of craziness in this house. A lot of craziness on this side. A lot of these places are boarding houses again. There's a there's a high degree of vacancy around here. Extremely high. Now this place, I don't know if you can see, yeah, right there, that yellow place. I remember when the guy bought it because it, it was like it was a burnout it didn't even have a ceiling on it and I remember when they came in and fixed that and turned it into I think four or five apartments now he got it dirt cheap because I think at the time I think he got it for like six or seven thousand bucks I see five power meters so it's five apartments he probably spent maybe 20 grand total and it's a long time ago, so he ain't making nothing but money. I am amazed at how many houses are freaking gone. Burn out, that house is gone. Huh. Well, yeah, this is what I fell into. Now, understand, this looks better <laughs> than it used to. This is better now. I want you to think of a Suarez of a war zone. That's what this place used to look like. And it was weird because there would be like this really nice house, then there would be madness. And it, it was just strange. Now, for some people, like, that shit ain't that bad because, you know, you're living in some bullshit right now. So it ain't that bad to you. But for me, you know, going from being poor to a you know, pretty good job, making decent money to falling into this shit that was worse than the neighborhood that I grew up in, it was a mind fuck. Now, I think what the people that live here like if you're coming from new york or you coming from chicago this is a come up sad to say but true but for someone who had never had to deal with this shit it is depressing and fuck but kind of goes back to what i was talking about you know experiences um that's enough touring of the uh this boy because it really hasn't changed you know it's cleaned up a little bit